So, here we go. We're in sun right now. It's 11.38 in the afternoon, in the morning, and we've got, she's cooking. So, the system is just a fucking monster. Um, I'm waiting for my battery rack still, so we moved some cables. Um, yes, I know I have exposed cables. I have gutter coming, and like I said, we're waiting on the battery rack, and I couldn't wait to launch this because of the storm. So, but yeah, you know, we're already up doing 11,000 watts of charge. This seems fucking awesome. So this is the EG4 LL batteries with the 18K PV EG4. It's just a fucking animal of a system. It charges these batteries in two fucking hours, you know. And really, because we're only waking up with 50% loss, or waking up at 50% state of charge, it's, yeah. Got a lot of extra power, but for reasons, you know, we spend a lot of time in the clouds up here in the winter time, and so, you know, even in cloudy weather, this thing will be in dead clouds so far, I've seen it get up to 4,000 watts, and that's, we had it snowing, and it was doing that, dropping snow on the panels, so, um, yeah. And this is this panel set down here. They're 12, 300 watt panels. And then you can see these are on, these are on the eco-worthy trackers. And so for powering the trackers, I've got 110 ran to that junction right there. And then I ran some wire, uh, two sets of nine to each tracker. So they'll have a permanent power source. Um, and then the reason for this is because you know we spend a lot of time in the clouds in the morning just because of the the morning moisture and everything and it dissipates by afternoon so if i can point these panels direct that will be where you know i can charge real quick or get us up to about 80 percent 90 percent so then that way i'm not getting you know um try to keep us from going under 20 percent on these batteries i'm not worried about it but you're not you know for me that's where I need to be producing just in case. And then I've got a backup generator. Um, I've, dug, I've got to do a little work, needs a timing belt, et cetera, et cetera. So I've got an emergency wired up. That way I can charge when I need to, you know, and we're not, we're not going without it. So, um, but yeah, she's, she's a monster. I'm super impressed, super impressed with this system. It's all worked out really well. I had both these wired up top here and they were just getting too hot, so we had to move them. Um, they were down there. They sure didn't hit 250 degrees, that's what this cable's rated for, but they got freaking hot, at least 150. So we had to do something different there. And that's, it's actually cooling down. So yeah, big difference. So, but that's cause these are, you know, this is all designed to pull off of bus bars, so. That battery rack will be, or the battery cabinet will be in tomorrow, and then my gutter is supposed to be here this week, and we can get this all put up. No, no exposed wiring here. So it'll be a, as professional as I can get it. It's choo choo.